Hey everybody, it's Brian with Elkhart Instructional Tech, and I've got a two minute tip today on how to use modules as a checklist in Canvas. We have a blog post on how to do this, and you can read that using the link in the description. So in my Canvas course, I have two modules set up. The problem with this is as a student, I can go to any of these assignments whenever I want, but I want to make them go through in order because they're sequential. So I'm gonna come up to my module and click on the three dot menu and click on edit. And I'm going to add a requirement for this module. So they must complete everything I set and they're gonna go sequentially. So this instructions, I want them to view and I want them to submit and score a five out of whatever on assignment one. So I update and then it asks, do you want to relock? I'm gonna click relock this time. Normally you would do this ahead of time, but that's not a big deal. Now for module two, I wanna make it so that they have to complete module one first. So I add that as a prerequisite, and then I can add requirements here for module two, and I want them to contribute to the discussion before module two is considered done. And I click on update, and we'll relock. So now my modules are set up. Oh, this has to be published. Now my modules are set up. When I go into my students, if I refresh my page, remember I relocked the students. Now I have to complete all the items and check it out. This. I can't complete module one or I can't do assignment one until I look at the instructions. That was set to view, so I click on my instructions. There's nothing on this page, so this will load and it'll just, uh, it just marks that I read it. And if I go back to my modules, now instructions has got a check mark and I can move on to the next piece. So that's a quick tip on how to use modules as checklists in Canvas. Give it a try, give it a like below if you liked it and make sure you subscribe to get more two minute tips in the future.